Welcome to our tutorial about variables. We use variables when coding to store value. You can think about a variable like a box where you can put some numbers, for example, and later on in your program, you can change these numbers or replace them with different numbers. Now, before you start using variables, they should be declared. In other words, you need to ask Visual Basic to create the variable. It is possible to work with variables without declaring them, but it's definitely a preferable idea to declare them. Let's go to Tools and Options. On the Editor tab, you can require variable declaration by checking this box. This makes it mandatory to declare your variables. By the way, variables can only hold one data type. After you declare a variable, it always retains its original data type. Let's check out some examples. I've got four variables here, declared inside an event procedure. The variable declaration starts with the dim statement. All four of these variables are local to this event procedure. In other words, they're only used inside this event. The first variable is declared as an integer. The second is declared as a string. The third variable is declared as a double. The last variable is declared as a string with a limit of 15 characters. That means you can only use 15 characters in this variable. When you declare variables, it's a good idea to use the common prefixes for your variables. For example, INT is the variable prefix for integer. This makes it a lot easier to distinguish your variable declarations later on. Here's a list of some commonly used prefixes and some examples of how to name the variables. Perhaps you may need to develop your own prefixes at some point. This is definitely an option. It's possible to combine variable definitions in one line, as you see here. Another thing, when you declare a varying variable, these two statements, for example, effectively mean the same thing. Now, if I remove this part of the statement, dblc becomes a variant type of variable. Also, to define data type, c as an integer, we can use a suffix. The percentage sign in this case is what defines an integer. Here's a list of commonly used suffixes for the main data types. Now currently all my variables are empty. In other words, they hold no value inside. Let's take a look at scooping variables. A variable scoop determines in which module and procedure a variable can be used. For example, let's look at my code here. All these variables can be used inside this procedure. If I declare this variable before the first statement in this module, however, this variable will be visible in the entire module. If I replace dim with public, I make this variable visible to the entire program. In other words, for all modules in this program. Effectively, it turns this variable into a global variable. And this concludes our tutorial about variables.